Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, master club fitter and golf professional at Second Swing. Well, if you haven't noticed, when I'm hitting drivers, I can get the ball to go pretty far. The reason I'm able to hit the ball pretty far is due to me hitting up on the ball. My attack angle is relatively positive. So one thing you will notice if you are going to compare your general amateur golfer versus an LPGA golfer is most amateur golfers struggle to increase their attack angle. The reason why LPGA girls hit the ball so far is because they are able to hit up on the golf ball. So I'm going to teach you today how to increase your carry distance by hitting up on the ball a little bit more. I just completed a video recently that was posted on our YouTube channel focusing on three ways to increase your launch angle with a driver. Well, today we're going to focus on three ways to increase your attack angle. Attack angle was one of those ways to increase the launch angle in, on your driver. So we're going to get really in depth on how to increase your attack angle. So before I do jump in and hit some shots, I do ask that if you can, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got plenty more other great content like this coming your way in the future. I'm excited to now educate you on how to hit the golf ball further. To begin, I'm going to hit a few shots with a pretty poor attack angle. I'm going to really try and hit down on the ball just to show the differences between what a attack angle down, an attack angle neutral, and an attack angle positive would do to your drives. So let's first start with some swings where I try and hit down on the ball with the driver. So to begin, I just swung three drivers here with an attack angle that was negative. So if we take a look up on the top right there, we can see my average attack angle was minus 1.7. Negative, when it comes to track num numbers, mean down. So my attack angle was down. Um, so because my attack angle was down, my launch angle was very, very low. So if we take a look at my launch angle there, my launch angle only averaged 5.7 degrees. We know with a driver we want to be in that 10 to 15 degree window to get us our maximum carry distance. Speaking of that carry distance, my carry was 221 going 272, leaving a lot of distance on the table. So first thing we want to do to increase our attack angle is we want to increase the T height. So you'll notice when I was hitting these shots here, how the tee height was a little bit lower. A lot of golfers need to have that tee height low because if you hit down on the ball and your tee height is high, you're going to hit some sky balls. You're going to hit on the top of the crown. The ball is going to go straight up in the air. You imagine if you were trying to hit down on, the, if you're swinging a club and you hit down on it, you're presenting that crown, which is going to cause the ball to go straight up in the air. So the first thing we need to do is we need to tee the ball a little bit higher. So step one would be to tee the ball a little bit higher. So ideally for tee height, what you'd want to do is you want to have that golf ball about halfway above the crown. So that position right there would be a more, a much better attack angle that we would need. So I'm going to hit some shots right away just after increasing the tee height and see what happens. So the first step was tee height. So we'll take a look and see how the numbers are still pretty accurate across the board. We're still seeing launch angle five to six degrees. Attack angle is still down. I actually hit the down on the ball a little bit more at negative three. So we're still hitting down on the golf ball. So tee height isn't going to solve everything. The second step that you need to do is ball position. So we need to move our ball position a little further forward in our stance to get that ball to launch a little higher. So when I hit those first six shots, my ball position was fairly close to the middle of my stance. A lot of players come in with their drivers and their ball position is a little bit too far, too far back in their stance. So the next step we need to make to increase our attack angle is to move our ball position a little further forward in our stance. So I'm, all we're doing is we're shuffling our body so our ball position now is up towards our left heel and kind of left toe right there. That is going to force you to hit up on the ball a little bit more. Mm -hmm. 
so the second suggestion, the second tip by moving the ball position a little further forward in my stance really, really helped me out a lot here. So by moving the ball position further forward in my stance, my attack angle went from negative three to positive five. So now I hit up on the ball five degrees. We take a look and see what happened to my launch angle. My launch angle went up from about seven degrees to about 13 degrees. I mentioned that 10 to 15 degree launch angle as an ideal range. Well, now we're in the ideal range. Big, big difference in total distance and carry distance. We can see here, if we take a look at the dispersion pattern, you can see so much how much further I was hitting the ball over there on the right. That purple circle with my ball position a little further forward in my stance, much, much better. We'll notice the distance, significant dif distance, and that is total distance. Carry distance went from 221 with both the first three swings and then the next three swings with a little t higher T height to 293. So that's quite incredible, those, those distance gains that I was able to achieve. One thing that's also really interesting, and I wasn't trying to swing any faster, is when I moved that ball position a little further forward in my stance, is my club speed also increased quite dramatically. We can see with the first six shots that I hit, so the white circle and the yellow circle, that my club speed was hovering around about 106 miles an hour. Those next three swings, my club speed was 113 miles an hour. So not only did I increase my launch angle, but I also increased my club speed just by moving that ball position a little further forward in my stance. So moving the ball position forward in your stance and increasing the T height were two really good ways to increase your attack angle. Uh, one more tip that I do have for you, for those that are struggling to hit up on the ball, is adjusting the way that your shoulders set up. A lot of times I see customers coming for a club fitting or if I'm working with someone on their golf swing and I see their shoulders are pretty level or even maybe that left shoulder is a little bit lower than their, than their right, it causes you to hit down on the ball. We don't want to hit down on the ball with the driver. We do with the iron because the ball is on the ground. Now we've got that ball teed up a little bit in the air. We want to sweep that thing and get hit more up on it. To hit more up on it, you want to feel like your left shoulder is a little bit higher than your right shoulder. So just a little shoulder tilt at setup is not, a, is not a bad option there. And then at impact, it's gonna feel like that left shoulder is just a little bit higher than that, than that right shoulder. That's gonna help increase that attack angle there as well. So that's another really good tip to help increase that, that attack angle on your driver if you are having a hard time to hit up on the golf ball. So I've given you three ways First way is T height. So T height, we want to make sure we can get that ball where it is about halfway above the crown, which really forces you to hit up on the golf ball. Imagine that that ball is on the ground. Imagine it's on the ground there. It's really hard for you to hit up on that because you want to hit down on it there as well. Second way is ball position. So ball position, we want to move our ball position a little further forward in our stance. You want it to be kind of on your, on your left heel, uh, left heel, kind of left toe. That's for a right-handed golfer, it would be the opposite for a, for a left-handed golfer. And then the third way, just a little, little, little extra, is by getting that left shoulder to be a little bit higher than that right shoulder. So that's three ways that you are able to increase the attack angle with your driver. There is a reason why little guys out there on tour, you look at Justin Thomas for example, he hits up on the golf ball he doesn't weigh too much, but he hits the ball a long way because he's able to increase his attack angle. And I did also mention in the introduction that LPGA players, they all do hit up on the golf ball to get them to hit the ball a little further because their swing speeds are not as fast as PGA Tour players there as well. Believe it or not, their swing speeds are very, very similar to your general amateur golfer, but there's a reason why they hit the ball a little further and more consistent is because they increase their attack angle.